Okay, I have my coffee. As you can see, I've been drinking a lot of it. I've got an old Intel chip that I ripped out of a machine a few years back. I've got instructions. Um, what we're gonna end up doing on this particular round is we are going to finally make the gun for Coda. We're going to um, do some intel for my man Briggs and Karen and everything else. Um, future moves, I did calculate that I need to start thinking about who I'm gonna give an SM SMG to and an AR to. Um, at the exact same time, let me explain to you what I did during the game. One of the things that I did was because they had a glitch and they gave me an excessive amount of, of currency, what I turned around and did was I invested in my lower end characters. And that investment is bumping up their intel using all of that extra uh, materials that I have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bumping that stuff up. Let me see if I can make this a little bit darker here. There we go. I think that's good right there. Yeah, making this stuff a little bit darker so that I can turn around. Ooh, 200 more gold. Yay. So that I can turn around and use these characters later on. Because I'm going to put a slight pause on the filming part because there's some new stuff that's going to be coming out soon. And they're going to have these extra capabilities inside the game. And I need to figure that stuff out. When, it's, when it does show up, but my intent was to get some of these lower end characters that I have, minus a couple like Ringo and Jeremy. I'm going to keep those guys low and also sun it. Keep those guys low so that I can turn around and get cheap updates for these guys here. And when I say cheap updates, I mean, I'm going to do as cheap as possible, um, train these guys for hundreds of dollars instead of thousands of dollars. See that, $400? Bingo. Hit this here, bingo. And all of a sudden I got the red dot over there. That simply means that it's the cheapest way for me to um, sp you know, spend a little bit of, of um, in-game currency to build on my character. I don't wanna waste a lot of resources. And while I am in this zone where um, I had so much, because I literally did have a ton, I had a ton of, oh, I need my pencil for that. I had a ton of um, energy over here. Where I did have a ton of that energy, what I turned around and did was, I used, I dispersed it as best I could. Because remember, once you, right now it's 85 um, over 54. Yeah, the max I can get is 54. So when it's 54, that's the max I can earn. When it's 85, that means that it's just going to sit at the 85 until I burn up all this stuff. So the best thing to do is to slowly use this up as best you can. And at the exact same time, go in here and... And when you start getting low, because at the end of the day, I was starting to get low, I turn around and I use my um, energy boost and all the other stuff to, um, from the daily stuff, my three times daily, my noon, my um, um, six o'clock and my nine o'clock. I use those guys to just boost myself up. So that's enough of the talking. Um, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna do one quick round in the arena. Win or lose, let's see what happens. Deploying units. Then after this here, we're gonna actually go and make that gun for Coda. Yes, I hit their Coda. I'm beefing up my center. I want my center to be as, as tough as possible. That vector shape there, I mean that delta shape, Bad, very bad for me. I gotta break these guys up. There we go. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, we should have this here. There we go. I don't have to do anything. And keeping my tight configuration is how I take these guys down. I just keep my heavy guys are all in the center, so they've got to attack my center, but they're so heavily guarded. So I love that. I just absolutely love that. I mean, it's to me, it's the best plan for me. And that's how I get to elite every single week. So the next thing we're going to do is we got to do a little bit of math here and we got to do a little bit of gambling. Roll the dice. Psh. So the very first thing we're going to do is we go to vendor. Vendor. And once we're inside a vendor, we're going to go to the prestige. Because what we need, we have 29 of these diamond, no, of these platinum prestige guys here. I am going to create, there we go. I'm going to convert 10 of these um, platinum prestige to 50 um, gold prestige. This is in-game currency that you earn that can be converted. Here we go. So that's the first step. Now I should have well over 100. See, we have 142 over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm still in the prestige section over here. What I'm going to do is come over to the shotgun, which is blueprints number five. Wait a minute. I've been calling this blueprint number five the entire time. That is blueprint number four. What in the hell? Was I, was I off? Why, why, why was I thinking that was blueprint number number four? Five. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is blueprint number four. Yay! I'm going to buy 25 of those because 100 of the gold um, prestige will get you 25 of these blueprints. And I only need 15. All these videos. Oh, man, I do too much stuff in the morning. There we go. There we go. So we got that. Mm, I feel bad that I've been calling it the wrong thing the entire time. Uh, I'm also going to roll the dice a little bit here because I know that I am actually short. Where's my paper? I'm actually short um, 27 blueprint number threes. I'm going to turn around and there we go. I'm going to do that. There we go. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that one more time. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't Vendor. mean to do that. Oh, wait a minute. What's inside of Daily Ops? Daily Ops. I, I forget what was in Daily Ops today. Um, tactical and drills and yeah, that's it. Okay. Because that payday, that's just cash, right? Yeah, that's just cash. Yeah, I don't care about that. So hopefully this is enough to get what I want. If not, we'll go we'll go roll the dice again. So I'm gonna go into ORB and swing over here. So we have part of what we need. Part of what we need is uh, I'm trying to get as many blueprint number threes as possible. I'm hoping I can just run up on some. I only need 27. It looks like I did not get any at all, which is okay. It's totally fine. It's totally, totally fine. So I'm going to back out of this real quick. Still in the ORB section. I'm going to scroll over until I see this right here. The Advanced Weapon um, Blueprint Orb. So I know I have 150 in there. Actually, I have 278. And these are my options. So my options are, um, I can get up to um, 100 of the blueprint number threes. I can get up to 125 of the blueprint number twos, or I can get 200 of the regular blueprints. Let's see what happens. Try it one more time. All right, we got exactly what we needed. We got exactly what we needed, okay? So we can just walk away from this part here. 
Now I want to make sure that you can you can see that as clear as possible. So I'm adjusting the screen here a little bit. There we go. I want you to see, be able to see this as clear as possible. So I'm going to go back out. I open up an orb. So because of that, it's going to give me some more over here, I believe. Yep, look at that. Bingo and bingo. And now we can finally freaking do it. We can finally make that shotgun for my girl, Coda. Notice that now it is yellow. It's yellow saying that, hey, there is something that's available for her. She has actually um, been dying to have this shotgun for a very long time. It is the DTF-SG. DTF, very interesting. So, as you can see, I have 223, um, an extra 23 that's available for somebody else probably in the future. And I also have some extra blueprints. I have 110, and I only need 100 of those. Once I hit... Once I click this button here, hopefully it'll do it for me. And it's gonna make the noise and everything. It did not, that sucks. But guess what? We now have a gold shotgun for my girl, Coda. So she is now 2186.2, this number right here. Let's take her to the arena. Arena. And let's bring her in there and see if she kicks butt. Ready for battle. And turn this back down the way it was. My coat is tougher than your coda. Airstrike. I'm attack and fix it. He's got a rocket. Yeah, that guy knows or gal knows that I'm attacking, I'm attacking, fix it. Airstrikes over. Finish them. There we go. Combat we got one. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Victory. I forgot to hit the button to see what was going on, but it's okay. Absolutely brutal. So this is my lineup now. I'm digging my lineup. I love my lineup. Um, we've got, and I'm just gonna go for the weapon real quick here. We've got Coda with the gold shotgun. We got Marcus Brown with a gold LMG. We've got Montang with a gold pistol, freaking revolver. We got um, Gridlock who's really, really tough. She will be getting um, another um, upgrade, hopefully in the, in the future. And we also have Karen with her freaking card, which is, again, um, from my favorite gun manufacturer, um, Chris Vector. This is the, um, the Vector version of a pistol with burst shots. Nice. So that is the end of this video. Um, finally, I, I made it happen. It took some time. It took a glitch um, and a little bit of gambling to get there, but we finally freaking made it. I hope you guys enjoy the game. Um, I will be putting up um, a couple more videos where you'll actually see my face and everything else, but it'll be about talking about the game and, and, and strategy and a few other things um, to kind of, you know, wrap this, this channel and keep it, um, keep it looking good. Enjoy the week.